Silence. It's peaceful. Um, the first question I have is for you guys. The personality of your characters is very particular. So I want to know if um, there are similarities with your uh, real personality. Yeah. Some of those things. I think, I think we're both competitive, we're both driven, we both... I don't know, we're both overthinkers a little bit. I'm told there's more in common between me and my character <laughs> than, than I make out to believe. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I feel like, yeah, we're, we're similar in some ways. I always tend to, to, to focus and be more interested in the differences because to me, that, that's what I have to be more conscious of. Whereas I feel like the similarities are going to be more easily recognized by other people. In the movie, we see that uh, Tessa and Hardin are basically a book lover. So uh, I want to know which is your favorite book and why from the three of you. <laughs> um, I really love this little book called After, <laughs> which <laughs> that didn't. OK, <laughs> can you go first? Uh, I've read a lot. Well, recently, I've been, I don't read a lot. Uh, <laughs> but I read a book called Sapiens, which is nonfiction, and that has definitely shaped how I it's so informative and, and kind of yeah, useful information there that's really kind of changed how I think about stuff. Uh, for me, it's a book called Clockwork Princess by Cassandra Clare. Um, it just has everything I like, a lot of drama and complicated characters and uh, families, and it has everything I like, so it's my favorite book. I dare you to make out with her. I'm done playing this game. Oh. Anna, you start at Wattpad, and then your work was published in books, and now there's a movie, so how do you feel about it? I'm excited and grateful. Um, I felt like every step of it, even just having a community before anyone even talked about publishing it, was already so rewarding and so much fun. And then being able to be published and have books in bookstores, and now having a film, um, Everything else is just kind of extra. It's just, I have a really great like career now in life. It sounds so weird to say that out loud, but mm -hmm. um, yeah. Did you even imagine that this is going to happen? No, um, I actually sold the movie rights before the book even came out. And even at that point, I was like, nobody's making this. It's not <laughs> happening. They'd be crazy to do that. Um, and then as it kind of went on, I was like, oh, this is actually happening. But I don't think I ever expect the next level of things to happen. Even when the book was popular online, that doesn't mean that millions of people are going to buy it. And somehow they did. So I feel like it's all been unexpected in the best way. So good, Welcome so to my favorite place. Uh, Josephine, uh, in this movie we see that Hardin uh, show a uh, side of Tessa that she didn't know, you know? So can you tell me more about this experience for you? Yeah, well, she, I mean, he sort of acts as this catalyst which ignites something in her because before that she's been in a relationship with her boyfriend from high school for like one or two years, um, but they just never really explored their sexuality or that, that aspect of herself. And when he comes along, there's just something about him that really starts her on this journey. The chemistry between you two in the movie is uh, amazing. Mm -hmm. So, <laughs> how was working with each other? It was a nightmare. Yeah. <laughs> no, it was great. It was. Um, <laughs> I it think was I, fine. I think. I think scheduling. The fact we had time before. Cinematography. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. I don't know. Yeah. Like, how can you answer like? Why? Why do we have good chemistry? Yeah, why I feel you, like yeah. it's just natural because. <laughs> I just feel like they have a natural chemistry that it's that's what makes a romance film especially is there are movies that can be great but the chemistry between the leads is missing um, and this one is like I feel like even if the rest of the movie would have been horrible the chemistry would carry the movie which is very lucky to have um, I don't think they see it but it's like this natural thing when the camera's on they're just it's just immediate chemistry uh, talking about that, uh, what was your opinion when you uh, know that they were chosen to make this uh, movie? Uh, well, I knew, I mean, I was involved in the casting, so I knew from the time they were sending in tapes to getting on a plane to filming. So I had a very, I don't know how to say it without saying, I chose them. No, but I had a very um, active role, active role <laughs> in choosing them, so I knew that they were going to get it. I can't stop thinking about you. 
You are stunning. Okay, the last yeah. question I have is for you, Hiro. Uh, in the first half of the movie, we don't see you smile at all. <laughs> how, how was that? <laughs> that was purely, yeah, that was direction I was given that I completely stand by and completely see why that, that makes sense. And I think you need to, to develop a character sometimes. Those are the kind of things you should be conscious of. Um, we want, especially, hopefully we'll have more <laughs> movies, but we need the development to be like drawn out. Otherwise, if Hardin goes from being like, this guy who is very tough exterior and then all of a sudden he's like, hey Tessa, it would be, it doesn't make sense. So the not smiling thing was like a conscious choice by kind of everyone except for when he would slip. Um, that he, that way when he does smile, it's with her. It's like you see this totally different side of Harden when he's with Tessa than when he's with Molly and Steph and everyone. Take it, take it. What are you dreaming about?